Last time I went, it was the wrong day. Y'all, this one has some jumbo Kanika braid here in it. The $5. This tastes like an egg. And then it was like a Baccarat dupe. Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to It's Beyond G, where we vlog family, food, and travel TV. This will be a weekend vlog. Usually we do a weekly vlog, but I'ma just be honest and keep it real. I had very little going on this week, very little that you all would have wanted to see. And although I was recording, I went through and deleted it permanently. I struggle with showing to me the same content every week. You know, we all live regular, regular lives and we're gonna pretty much do the same thing over and over. But to shake it up a little bit is cool. But we're gonna call this one right here a weekend vlog. Although I deleted most of the footage I had, I kept a couple pieces in. Like when we went to Lowe's this week, we picked up a new baby rose bush. This will be the third year in a row that we've replaced the rose bush. So we have a three-year-old rose bush, a two-year-old rose bush, and a one-year-old well a couple months that I will show you in this vlog here hopefully we don't have to replace anymore because I'm thinking about getting some simple bushes they told me roses would be easy to care for and if I leave them alone they're fine but the storms keep tearing them up speaking of storms Ohio has reportedly been the highest in tornado watches and warnings and I'm thinking to myself what the heck is going on with the environment that's neither here nor there, but it is scary. We've never been considered, to my knowledge, Tornado Alley. But I do want to remind you all, public service announcement, that if you don't have a weather app or a weather radio, flashlights, the kits, the tools you need, a family plan for tornadoes and earthquakes, they just had one in New York and Jersey. How crazy is that? Make it your business to get a family plan or to download an app that you trust, turn on all locations. Nobody's trying to follow you, but you need to know when severe weather pops up because it's been quite scary these last couple years. And quite frankly, I hate that. I usually don't use hate, but I, I really do hate that. And tornadoes, warnings, watches, it it really really worries me a lot so make sure you're safe and prepared in this vlog for today we have a cool 58 degrees the sun is finally out with no warnings no thunderstorms no rain everybody's out taking advantage so first up for me i am here at st vincent de paul it is our monthly goodwill donation drop off and when we drop off we're going to go in to see if we can find a couple pieces We'll probably go to the other Goodwill down the way. I have to go to Starbucks and cash in some points for a new cup. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I like my Starbucks cups a lot better than my Stanley cup after I heard about the lead warning. I just am saddened because I was really enjoying the cup. And then the lead warnings came out. And Stanley said there's only a small amount of lead in the cup, but to me, that small amount is enough for me to say no thank you. So I've reverted back to the Starbucks cup collection. And we're gonna continue that. We'll get a new cup and then go to the grocery store. And as you'll see later in the vlog, Jay is home trying to get our bikes together. If the weather is still nice, we're gonna have a nice family bike ride. That is what we're gonna do for Saturday. We love outdoors. I love to go out and clearance shop and find some deals. So trying to get back into that. Sorry if this intro is too long. I hope you're doing well. I hope your week is going amazing. And yeah. I guess I'm gonna need one of these flat beds. I'm not doing any flowers or anything this year. Just a simple rose bush and a clean cut garden. They are pretty though. They have pretty hanging plants. I'll do the hanging plants too. We are due for some mulch right now, but I'll let Jay do that. Look at these. How pretty are these yellow tulips? They are so beautiful. My neighbor has bees in the yard and they seem easy to take care of. 
but of course i don't like to copy they're beautiful but they i just want pretty roses and a clean yard If the rose bushes don't work, we're gonna get these right here. What are these? Little easy bushes. Something like that. Picked up some garden soil. I think I'm gonna put those on top. And then the mulch on top of that. I still have not gotten the rose bushes yet. The flowers are beautiful. All right, here is the new rosebush baby. And as you can see, there are the big brothers. So we'll see how he does. He's the same color. These bloom on and off. This one is a year old. Remember, we replanted. We replanted this one last year. And then this one, he is three years old. So three, two, and one. So hopefully they'll last. I will wait on you. I will wait on you. That should work though. The thing is, it don't fit in. We're trying to get our bikes serviced for this season. Look at me trying to say S's. Season with these Invisalign <laughs> service for the seasons. Let me show you the bikes. I don't know if you all remember them from last year, but Jay's out here putting air in the tires. Today is the perfect spring day, and it is soft as marshmallow. My baby's bike is too. When we come back, maybe we can ride our bikes outside. Who knows? It is bike season. This is my baby's bike here. This is my bike. The tire is so, it's not too bad, but we can't ride it yet. I love this little bike. And then this is my baby's first bike that I probably never, ever, ever give away. The first training wheel bike. Do we still have the training wheels? Oh yeah, we do. They're right here. Oh yeah, I'm, I, I'm never giving this away. Memories. Memories. Let me know if you still have your kids first bikes or first anything in the comments. The bike, I'm, I just can't do it. I'll let somebody borrow it if they come over to play or something. <laughs> they absolutely cannot have that. I am getting ready to head out, hit up a few thrift stores and then grocery store which I'm dreading today, but I want to get it over with today being Saturday. So I don't have to go tomorrow after church. Hopefully when we come back home, it'll still be nice enough to ride our bikes. It's the perfect spring day. I'm just ready to enjoy this day off. I'm giving myself a $50 thrifting budget and I really need to see what sales Goodwill and St. Vincent have going on right now. Because last time I went, it was the wrong day. He told me to come back on a Saturday, look for pink tags. I forgot they did those little sales depending on the day. This is nice, one of them little they don't see office chair systems. What's the price on those? They have 50% off green spear clothing, 75 cent red spear clothing, 50% off children's and women's leggings. Let's see. Look at all these old school movies, y'all. Wow, this one has some jumbo Kanika braid here in it. For five dollars. <laughs> so 
a cute little Calvin Klein suit. That's really cute for $11.99. dress for $4.99. I don't know, it might be cute on. This old navy dress is $4.99 or 50% off. I'm going to get it. It's long. Perfect for school. With a little blue jean jacket. Another cute romper from Old Navy. It looks like somebody cut it because the arm was too short. Otherwise, I could have got this. Shorts romper. $4.99 with 50 off. With the blue jean top, I think I want to style. It's so cute. Sleeveless, the music is like blasting off. Uh, white jeans or something, I'ma get that too. We didn't do bad, family. We got five articles for $26, including tax. You cannot beat that. They had like a 50% off sale all of the green. They had some 75 cent items. Unfortunately, I didn't find any 75% off items, but I'm very happy with what I purchased. Let me show you my receipt. You know, some people be want receipts. Not bad, not bad, right? So a couple of the items were $249. Is it gonna focus? The two at $249 and then four at $499. So we actually got six items for $26.89 with tax. Making some stuffed peppers. I had the peppers in the oven for about 30 minutes. I made my filling. It is ground rice, ground turkey, taco seasoning. A little salsa, some onions, green pepper. Put my cheese on the top. So I have a, a layer of the stuffing at the bottom. In the middle is a cheese stuffing. It's just a four cheese Mexican style blend. And then I did a top layer of meat stuffing. And I'm gonna put some Mexican cheese on top. Bake this off. And we're gonna eat this baby in the oven put these back in the oven and I'll show you what they look like when they're finished hey family we made it home from church happy Sunday to you we did stop at Starbucks today. I went yesterday. It was too packed in there. It was packed today too. But here's the new cup we picked up. It's so cute. This the um, store we went to. They didn't have a lot to choose from. It was between this white or black. I'm like, where is where are the spring choices? But this is the extra tall one. We use our points, and this is what we'll be using this week at work. It's so cute. Hope you're doing well. What are you all cooking for dinner? Um, right now it is 12 o'clock. We went to the eight o'clock early morning service, came, we left, went to the grocery store, went to Starbucks. We're home now and I'm making brunch. I'm making some sausage patties, turkey bacon, some eggs, biscuits, and I might make some waffles. Nothing too serious. I'm going to get out of these dress clothes, sit back and relax so I'll pick you up in a second. It's supposed to be a frost advisory tonight. You all know I showed you the new baby rose that we just planted, literally, not even 48 hours ago. And now the news is saying that it's gonna be cold and that we need to cover our plants. And I'm sitting here thinking, I don't wanna lose another rose bush. What am I gonna cover this plant with? Should I cover it with a towel? Cause I'm definitely not gonna put a sheet outside over these plants. And I don't feel like running to Lowe's to pick up one of the plant covers. <sighs> I don't know, we gotta figure something out. Maybe an old towel. Maybe you think an old towel will work? I don't know, but we cannot, we cannot lose another rose bush. We have to figure something out. No, it won't. They said if you don't cover them, 
we could stand a chance of our plants dying. And we just purchased and planted that. I throw, I throw an old towel over it. I'm gonna do an old towel. What you thinking? I was saying, that one rose bush been but he's mature. He's talking about. He said the first rose bush, the one that's three years old. He's been out there surviving. He's mature. We just put the baby out there. We don't know if he can withstand that. Also, just for the baby, yeah, I just want to cover the baby up because, yeah, and he has some flowers that are already bloomed. Yeah, we'll do a towel. I hope it's not too heavy. We'll try to find a light towel and cover him up. It is cold. We literally had to turn the heat back on. If we didn't turn it on, then we will freeze tonight. 54 for the high. You know it's going to be cold at night. I actually froze a little bit last night was too lazy to get up and get another blanket to warm myself up. I know I'm not the only one. When you're in that good sleep, you're under them blankets, you're not getting up at that sleep. Let me check on this breakfast. I'm hungry. I wanna see music solo child so bad. I looked up tickets. I'm, I'm telling you, I saw tickets starting at $65 a month ago. Jay looked up tickets yesterday. How much did the tickets jump to, babe? 125 starting out per person. I'm like, what? Is he alone on this ticket? But $125, I said who, what, when, where, and why? Now I like music, but I'm gonna have to pass on that. I'm really sad about it too. We have uh, Macy's Music Festival coming to the city. You might as well get your money's worth and pay for a Friday or a Saturday pass. See five, six artists for it cheaper than that, probably. So I'm gonna have to sit it out on Music Soul Child. Who else? What else is coming? Todd Williams is coming home. So if you all don't know, he is from around this area, Dayton, which is like 45 minutes from us. So he's coming home to do his tour. I might go last minute because he still has a few tickets left. I love a good comedy show. And that might be something that I would be interested in doing. Between comedy and music, love them. Like, I can't do without them. I want to laugh and I want to sing and enjoy a nice vibration. I do have to return something to Walmart. I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna go today. Grocery shopping's done. We're having brunch in a few. We're gonna have an easy, quick dinner. Laundry's done, everything's done. So I might be in the bed early tonight. We shall see. Nah, it was me. <laughs> no. And I feel so bad, I asked the Lord for forgiveness. You ever been in a situation when somebody goes to do the solo, and you're like so into praise and worship, you have not a bad intention in your body. Then somebody gets up and they take the solo to another level. Well, I think I only chuckled discreetly because it caught me off guard. The way that the song climax and the way that the way you came out like the way that the solo is handled that it totally. I mean, he went from alto to. Uh, first soprano the way he was cupping the mic and yeah sh shame on me it happened it happens to the best of us we've all experienced funny moments at church like i said i asked the lord to forgive me if he, the lord knows my heart he was like girl if you do not stop i was so embarrassed i was able to contain the laugh but I was 30 seconds away from excluding myself from the sanctuary because I just could not get it together. I'm like, girl, how childish are you? But I know I'm not the only one. When you experience moments where it is so funny, whether it be the work meeting, church, somewhere serious, and then something silly happens, not to where nobody's getting hurt, but where it catches you off guard or it's not the norm, that's what happened to me. And not only was I chuckling like under my breath. I'm like, girl, think of something serious, catch a bubble. This is ridiculous. I, I'm mentally telling myself 
just so I can get it together. And once I got it together, he goes and hits another first soprano note. Like, totally, it totally caught me off guard. We made it through. We made it through. I was, I was so upset with myself, but it happens. We're human. We all have emotions. The service was the service was good. We were visiting at another church today, um, so it was just you know a different experience from that aspect. But other than that, it was a really really good word. We were reading in Romans. Pastor preached. He teached, and that's that on that. We made it through. Our sausage, our biscuits, our turkey bacon. About to make some eggs. Finished with brunch. It was delish. I am now gonna wash it down with this Ali Pop. This one is the orange squeeze. I've not tried this before. To be honest, I've only tried one. So I can't give you a real opinion of how I feel about these drinks because to me, they are overpriced. I don't really, prebiotics and botanicals. Thank you. Plant fiber. Does that sound good to you? No. <laughs> But we're gonna try it together before I put my Invisalign's back in. Y'all, when they say two hours is all you get, it's literally two hours. We're gonna try this Olipop. Combines the classic soda. You all know about these. $2.38. This was a splurge today at the grocery store. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna let Jay try it. We're gonna see. Let's see. So it's like clear with a tint of orange. And it smells like a sun kiss. 45 calories. Let me get my straw. Baby, you want to try it with me? I guess. Cheers. Let me sip this. Let me give y'all an honest review. Now this is the second Olipop that I purchased that I don't like. <laughs> it tastes like an Alka Seltzer. How are we drinking these? It won't go to waste, believe that. But I won't be. Stick to ocean spray. Woo! Baby, sip this Alka Seltzer. It tastes like everything it says. Plant powered, microbiome approved, orange squeeze, five grams of sugar. I think I tried the great one the first time. Oh, they need to go back to the drawing board. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Come here, how you feel? Can you finish it for us? I don't want to. Does it taste like Alka Seltzer? It do kind of taste like Al Alka Seltzer. How it's much was that thing? Two thirty-eight. I feel like taking this back. I'm on my, my two thirty-eight. <laughs> that little can worth two thirty-eight. That's ridiculous. One of us have to finish it. You bought it. Mm mm. I got a sensitive <laughs> stomach. What flavors are y'all getting that y'all like? I cannot. Before I close this vlog out, I wanted to let you all know that I was watching Coley Cole. If you are not subscribed, if you haven't checked out our channel, head on over, it is right here. I'm gonna give her the credit for showing me this on her last vlog. The way she was describing this and that it was like a Baccarat dupe, I wanna say. This is a mist and body spray. You all know I love a good mist and body spray. It's a little lighter than the perfume and I can apply it as generously as I want to. And for hair and body, like I really love body and mist sprays. They're so affordable. But when she said it was like a Baccarat dupe, I ran for it. Now, I'm always looking at fragrances when I'm in like Marshalls, TJ Maxx and Ross, but generally I don't find anything I just so happened to come to this one, which was close to the Walmart that I did the exchange at. 
and why was this sitting right in the middle it was the only one so it's actually missing the cap it was sitting right in the middle of the second shelf looking at me i said "Ooh, this is for me you know i sprayed it on it smells so good and again it is the compound 99 that's what it's called amber the floral wood it smells so good soft fresh clean not too much of a floral smell it's a clean soft romantic smell so if you're into those type of things you probably will want to pick this up and for $9.99 top notes saffron jasmine orange middle notes amber ambergris avernil and base notes of fir and cedar will provide a long lasting hydration while working to soften dry skin again it says you can use this all over your body anytime anywhere spray on hair clothes lingerie or bedding so y'all it smells so clean $9.99 I'm gonna add that right to the collection but I hope you all have enjoyed this chill vlog. Always a pleasure to be with you every Sunday when we're doing things where we're not doing so much. But for those of you who keep coming back week after week, I definitely appreciate you like you wouldn't believe. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down in the comments. Let me know what you're planning to do this week, how your day is going any prayer requests put all of that good stuff down in the comments and i will definitely meet you there until next time please be blessed be safe have an amazing week and we will catch up with you in the next one bye